Well job, of course. Two one today. Woo. Was it a convincing win for you? Oh uh, well, kind of. In the beginning, you know, it's like we were comfortable, but hey, as football, man, <laughs> if football is not mathematics, sometimes it could go your way. Fine. Well, again, too, it can also go against you. So yeah, we were comfortable, but we were not ruthless like uh, uh, the way uh, like Wednesday, you know. So I think. The way we switch off, it was a little bit kind of uh, a bit concerning. But hey, they'll, they'll go back and work on it and where we went wrong a little bit because uh, you don't want to be leading comfortably. Then all of a sudden, uh, drop a little bit the tempo, your intensity. Then you want the opposition team, you start inviting the opposition team to the game. you know. And you saw it when it was in the end. Everyone was kind of, it was nervy you know, for everyone. You know, it's like... You know, literally people were calling for the referee to whistle the end of the game, you know. And uh, we shouldn't be kind of uh, finding, uh, looking, uh, creating those kind of situations and uh, and uh, hoping that oh, <laughs> when it gets to the end, the referee will, will, will blow the, the end of the game. So hopefully they'll go back because, as I said, football is uh, about science now and analysis. So they'll go back and, and uh, work on those uh, fine margins and uh, then obviously they don't move on. Yeah, so. Was it right uh, for Ateta to actually pull out uh, Gabriel Jesus at that particular point of the game? Because looking at him, if he wanted to be a game like 90 minutes. Yeah, but I think at one point, uh, do you know what Gabriel Jesus just came back from an injury though? So obviously he's been playing. And listen, Babylon is too cold. It's freezing out there, man. Because you feel like, you know, these boys, man, you might be thinking that oh, <laughs> it's, uh, what they're doing is in easy stuff. It's not. It's not you know, it's cold out there. So, literally, you got to make sure it's a process. And you got to make sure that your player at one point to when you see. And it's a theater. He's on, he's on the touchline. And this time around, he saw that he's calm. So, they've been observing it. And they saw that, okay, Jesus... I think he's enough now, so it's better to take him off. So, yeah, I, I mean, it was a good moment to take him off because he saw that at one point, he wasn't getting into the game when he's going into the, you know. And the thing is that when he got to the final third, we got to be ruthless, but we were not. So I think they just saw that, okay, now let's go direct. Let's get someone who'll be more aggressive. And that's when he took him off and brought on uh, Nketiah. And assuming Nketiah, that chance he had, assuming that... It, yeah, you know, it did, but because he hit the pole, then he came back, you know, which is a shame, you know, which is a shame. Off target, then, which is a shame, you know, it would have been nice. But hey, I think that was a good decision, and uh, by taking Jesus off, yeah. yeah. Can we say Bukayo Saka is having the best season so far? Oh, listen, all the well, I mean, every single player in Arsenal, they're having a you know, fantastic season, but let's not jump the gun. Let's just take it game by game, you know, wait to the end of the season, then we can kind of summarize it and say, oh, okay, yeah, Saka has been fantastic. But so far, it's been good. All the players, you know, even those who are not even involved at the moment, they've all been fantastic because of something I always say to people, it's not just about having A, A players, you know, you've got to have A, B, C, D players. So, good, fantastic players and a Good, uh, good of average players, you know, and that's make up a team. It's not like you have everyone A plus, A plus, so it takes time. So, him, if, to answer to your question again, he's having a, you know, listen, the whole players, the whole team, you know, the coach is having a good time. So, let's wait to the, hopefully, this will translate into winning the, the league, then we'll come back here. And when you ask me that same question, coming end of May, then I'll say to you, yes, Saka. Fantastic player, but right now he's just going about his business, and I love it. Doing well, Matne, so that so does Matnelli and the rest of the players. So yeah, looking at our next game against Luton, and uh, looking at uh, the December fixtures, are you certain? Are you confident that the team can remain top of the table at the end of uh, for the, the festive season? We stay it to the end of May. I'm telling you, we stay till end of May. That should be your title. Arsenal winning this league. See, I don't see City winning it. And I've said it to many people. They might be saying I'm crazy. Arsenal winning this league. Yeah. Now, you're talking about the features for December. Yeah, it'll be a tricky one. 
we'll starting with looting our way. It'll be tricky one, but hopefully we'll go there. Because, you know, we've got an away, good away record. So we'll go there and take care of the business. We don't need... Uh, that's what I'm saying to people. We ask no... December as well. You still have Liverpool to play in December as well. Yeah, we'll play Liverpool December. Mm -hmm. But last season, we didn't lose to them, though. Mm -hmm. We beat them here. Then we drew over there. Mm -hmm. So literally, we took four points away from them. And it will be the same picture again to this season. Mm -hmm. We'll fix Liverpool. Don't worry, we'll fix them up. Yeah, I'm not scared of anything. I like, I like, I like this confidence. Where is it coming out from, man? <laughs> Listen, I've told you we're winning the league this season. Hmm. We're winning it this season because now Ateta... Rich. Yes, Ateta now, he's got the formula now. It's, it's matured and it's got... You know, it, it's kind of realised that, listen, you got to be smart in winning games and these boys is literally make sure that I implemented that. In, so into their mind so they've got that and again to when there's a need to play expansive football we do it as well so hey it's got all those two attributes you know so yeah that's made me to believe that yeah we're going to win the league mm -hmm. and again guess what this season we were the only team I mean so far down the double on 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 City, on City isn't it so so hey I mean what else again can you say you know it's like I mean, there's a picture like that. So why do you want to doubt that we can't be there? Listen, we'll beat Liverpool. We'll beat Liverpool. And uh, end of, come, coming to the end of May, we win the league. Yeah, it's not going to be an easy one. So, hey, don't say that oh, it's going to be smooth, you know. It's, it will be a moment of, you know, where literally, yeah. But this team, they've learned how to cope with it. And they learn how to, as I said again, to... The team, when they go out there, when are here or on away games, they know how to win in the smart, the smartest way. So they'll do that. You've got to be smart, and that's what they're doing. Uh, it's not like, oh, yeah, let's be expansive, you know. It's like, yeah, if there's a need to be, but you've got to be pragmatic, you know. So And that's what they're doing. So, yeah, I believe in the team. I believe in the boys. I believe in the process, and we're going to do that. And stop asking people that oh, between the Champions League and the league, <laughs> which one is that? What's that? What question is that? Listen, ah. we need, we we need both both of them because they, remember it's, the Champions League will be playing at Wembley here. Mm -hmm. Wembley, whoa, Wembley, you know, on Wembley, <laughs> and it's in England. Obviously, if Arsenal we got ourselves into a good situation. Mm -hmm. You fancy Arsenal to go and win it all the way. We've been to Wembley many times. We won a charity shit recently. Oh, was there. We won a couple of FA Cups at Wembley. So literally, we got that kind of uh, way of winning at Wembley. So Champions League coming at Champions League, uh, uh, last 16, and then the quarterfinals, the semis, then the final, Arsenal in the final, and you're telling me that oh, between the Champions League, we want to win both the league and the Champions League, my friend. Okay. So stop asking people that kind of questions. Just say, oh, what about winning both? Okay. Yeah? Okay, no worries. Good. <laughs> Not just one. Not just one, oh, the no, two. One. Hey, don't let him bully you. Don't bully <laughs> you. Uncle Socky. Uncle Beckham Socky. Behave yourself down there. So, oh. No worries. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.